All right, hey everyone. I am in Honolulu, Hawaii, this beautiful city in the middle of nowhere in the Pacific Ocean. And you know what is the first ATSE 3.0 broadcast to occur in the Pacific Ocean is right here in Honolulu. There are no other ATSE 3.0 broadcasts anywhere else in the Pacific Ocean. There is just this one. This one is from station KHII-TV which started broadcasting an ATSC 3.0 back in November of 2022. So Honolulu here, the island of Oahu, and some of the neighboring islands like Maui and even possibly the big island of Hawaii can receive ATSC 3.0 broadcasts. I think it's really cool that I'm on the 17th story of a hotel with a little folded out paper clip and I can watch TV off of my phone. Um, unfortunately, this is yet another ATSC 3.0 station that requires a decently high SNR. This one requires about 18 to 19 decibels in order to watch any video streams, which again is about three to four decibels higher than an equivalent ATSC 1.0 signal. I shouldn't even have to do this and it should still come in. If they were broadcasting robustly, sure. But since they're requiring a 19 decibel SNR and I am 19 miles away from the transmitter and there's a lot of hills around here. Yeah, so a paper clip like this outside is required because the SNR required is 19 decibels. So one of the things that I wanted to do, of course, I'm using the GT Media HD TV mates on this Samsung galaxy device here what i wanted to show is i'm only able to watch uh three out of the five channels that are on this atsc 3.0 station that's k-h-i-i-d-t k-h-o-n-h-d and k-i-t-v-h-d k-g-m-b and k-h-n-l-d-t are both encrypted channels unfortunately um and yet again this is another atsc 3.0 broadcast that is partially encrypted, at least it's not completely encrypted. It's nice to see that still only two out of the five are encrypted in late August of 2025. I think unfortunately this will change soon unless something happens, unfortunately. But as you can see, we've got K-H-I-I-D-T, which is what I'm on right now. And then there's K-H-O-N-H-D. And then there is KITV HD. Lucian that breaks down dirt on contact. So I am able to get these in here. Um, but again, the encrypted channels, if I go to play them back, um, I will never be able to watch them because uh, the broadcasters decided to use an encryption technology that is half baked. This Android device is not able to access this programming nor will any Apple device in the future because they decided to use a big tech called Google's encryption. But other than that, it is a beautiful day here in the Hawaiian Islands. I was glad to have the opportunity to come here and test this out. Um, there's actually a few transmitters super close to here. Um, on one of the buildings over in this direction is actually a transmitter. I'm about a half mile away from a TV broadcast on one of the tall buildings over there. And then there's another broadcast in this general direction as well. Uh, this hotel is super close to a bunch of the transmitters. And I was actually surprised to see how densely populated this area of the Pacific Ocean is, meaning that we're literally in the middle of nowhere. And it is extremely dense, um, which is crazy. And there's actually antennas on top of super tall skyscrapers here in the middle of volcanic rock in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Also, they are advertising next gen TV here in Hawaii like crazy. A lot of the local TV channels that I was watching here have a little banner that shows up saying available in next gen TV. And that is really nice to see. I don't see that at all in the Buffalo TV market or the Miami TV market. So at least here they're actually advertising it and they're doing it a lot. So I don't know if that has any um, effect on next gen TV viewership at all, given the state of available consumer electronic devices. But it's nice to see broadcasts that actually have uh, next gen TV advertised constantly 
while the programming is on. That's a really cool thing to see, especially since this area is so hilly and mountainous. If more stations change over, these people up here on the other side of the hill will greatly appreciate more simplistic modulation like QPSK and more robust code rates. So anyway, still three out of the five channels here unencrypted and they look really good. Of course, I'm just using an Android phone, but again, it does look good and two channels are encrypted. So what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. This is Dylan signing out from Hawaii.